Kate Black here with a quick video, man. Let's talk heavyweight boxing. I just seen this video with Teddy Atlas. And he stated that Deontay Wilder is the greatest heavyweight puncher he ever seen. Now, we all know that Teddy Atlas is very critical of Deontay Wilder. I always have been. Uh, for one thing, you know, or another. You know, but this is what happened when you're great. Even the doubters, the naysayers, the haters, all of them eventually going to have to bow down and give props and praise. This is what happens all the time, man. You know, Deontay the Browns, but my Wilder, I'm glad that he's getting his, you know, roses, his flowers right now. You know, and it took some time, man. It took some time. I remember, you know, a year and a half, maybe two years ago, right? With all these guys was hating on him, saying that he's unknown, saying that he wasn't he didn't fight nobody, you know, saying that um uh, windmill wilder, he couldn't fight. They even talk about the dude physique, talking his legs was too skinny. All, all type of just nonsense. They was coming towards, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder with. Saying he had no fan base. He wasn't making no money. They said all these things and, and much, much more, right? Look at it now. Look at it now. You the top of the sport. Getting top dollar. Got fans all over. Got a huge following. Everybody know who the hell he is. You know, man, it's hard work and dedication. It's true hard work and dedication. You know, that brother put in that work, man. And he also, he stayed loyal to the fans. You know, the people he was talking to in the beginning, the same people he talked to now. They showed him love since the beginning, man. And, you know, that, that right there is worthy of props. Because many people, they get the big head, they get where they need to be at, and forget about the people who was down with them from the beginning. But this brother has stayed down. And, you know, that's why I give props to Deontay Wilder, man. Not because of what he do in the ring. You know, uh, you know the brother is very... Uh, Inspiring, man. You know, for a guy to start boxing at such a late age and to be on the top of the sport, to be, you know, to have all those fights and still be undefeated and to knock, you know, basically everybody out that he has fought, man. That that right there, it, it, that, that take a whole lot of uh, expertise. You know, it take a whole lot of uh, practice and, um, you know what I mean, a lot of hours in the gym, man. You know, he didn't start when he was seven. That man started when he was grown, boxing. You know what I mean? I remember back in the day with HBO when they was doing boxing. They never showed love to Deontay Wilder, man. You know? I know I stated this before. They showed love to guys like fucking Seth Mitchell and Brian Jennings. No hate on those guys, but... Those guys was football players, right? College football players. So, you know, they started late. So, I was just wondering why, why they got so much love and so much push. And HBO didn't push Deontay Wilder at all. I don't, if, to my I mean, to my recollection, I don't think Deontay Wilder ever even fought on HBO, even when he was coming up. And if he did, um, you know, it just that, if he did, dude, I, I just don't remember it. But, they push guys like, like I said, Brian Jenny, Seth Mitchell, Fast Eddie Chambers, Chris Ariola. You know, even the Irish Mike Perez. He wasn't even from here, and they was pushing him. And I even stated then, I was like, man, Deontay Wilder going to surpass, surpass all those guys. And he, that's when Deontay Wilder was, really was, you know what I mean, uh, not as poised as he, as he is now. But even then, I still seen something in Deontay Wilder, man. He had the look. 
You know, they try to show love to Bermain Stavern. Chris Ariello was supposed to be the Andy Ruiz right now. They, excuse me, they was pushing Chris Ariola to be the first Mexican champion. You know, that's before he fought Deontay Wilder for the belt or Bermain Stavern for the belt and lost both of those. Remember, I mean, he fought Vitaly Klitschko first for the WBC belt and got demolished. But they was giving him all love and all push. You know? But look at it look at it now though. You know, the, the person who outlasted all of those guys is still undefeated. Still champion. Making a top dollar in the sport. Everybody know him. Turning fighters into memes. You know, to this day. You know what I mean? Everybody <laughs> everybody was, you know what I mean, copying that, that catchphrase. Come on, man. And he's much more than boxing. I'm telling you, man, the dude very entertaining. He's very, very entertaining, man. You know, so... I'm I'm just glad people like Teddy Atlas, you know, and others are finally seeing the bigger picture. Why give props to other other guys from other countries when you got the best over here? You got the best over here in Deontay Brown Dumber Wilder. Nobody's gonna beat this dude. And you know, I'm just here to tell you, man, he will go down. As one of the, you know, all-time greats. And in his era, he's going to go down as the greatest boxer in his era, man. I'm just here to tell you that. You know, so I don't throw those words out that, that often, words like that. You know, uh, like I said, I know I haven't been doing boxing videos for real. <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to start doing them again. But, as you know, I just want to uh, throw that out there, man. A uh, the video that I seen, you know, Teddy Ellis got his own little podcast or his own little, you know, channel on YouTube. So, you can check it out. And he stated that Deontay Wilder is the greatest heavyweight puncher that he ever seen. K-Black.